What is up, my guys? It is Tian here. Got the hair. Got the suit. And we're ready to do one of my specialties, which is our interesting one is part seven, where you save Apollyon. Last time in this what if, you had could decide between whether you kill her or not. Now, so Aizawa had fought, fought her and told Bakugo to not kill you guys, but Bakugo did it anyways and blasted you off a cliff with Tomura, but he was saved too. Except you were down there now with her. Let's get it going, shall we? Holly. So, Deku awakens at the foot of the waterfall's edge. The water splashing into his face, making him zone out, but focus him down. A lot, he struggles to get out of the water, but once he makes it to the top, he climbs up onto the shandy shore. He sees the blood that is not his own, but once he thinks about it, he remember he regains memories about how he had saw Apollyon being knocked off the edge. He rushes into the cave, seeing her lying on the gro ground, bleeding out from the face. Well, she was bleeding on her face and from the stomach. He does see her, most like she. Once he sees her, however, he sees such a legendary warrior being taken down by such a cheap trick. He felt the need for her to be an honor death, an honorable death. No, wait, no. What is he thinking? She is his enemy. She's a killer. Why would I think that? She realizes that he's there. Apollyon tries to pick herself up, but she falls down. Realizing that she's just grounded there and she can't get up, she just sits there and waits for her death. Extending out her neck, Apollyon saying, Well then, what are you waiting for? The least you can give me is a warrior's death. After all, you were my executioner. You should be used to this by now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you. You were my warrior. You are my gladiator. You were perfect for my wars. Why did you change? It doesn't matter now. I've lost... You've won. That's just war. It's just the same. All my plans, all the wars I waged, the factions that I tore apart. It was all a part of war. Can you tell me something, Deku? Was it beautiful? Deku? He can see a tear coming out from her mask. Beautiful, he says. War is not beautiful, Apollyon. The blood, the carnage. Haven't you thought about the people who don't want to fight the people that you claim to doing, be doing this for, that you got support from? What are you doing? You're killing them. They don't want to be in this. You're forcing them to fight and go farther and farther into it. You're dragging them down. You're endangering those exact people you understand to have families. Didn't you have them? Didn't you have lovers? He rips off her mask as he saw another tear going down her face. He sees her beautiful face. The fine lines and edges are almost arousing, but he resists his edge. Any lovers? Not asking for me, just for a friend. Apollyon's world was just shattered, as she had never, never loved anyone before, and she realizes this. She had lost out on something that, and it was just something that she missed her whole life. That people's whole lives are about. It was just an average part of everybody else's life. She was missing this this whole time. She quickly sucks that feeling down into her stomach to digest it sooner. She shoots back with a strong slash fake defense saying, You've never loved anybody other either, have you? 
You haven't loved anybody either, have you? Deku thinking in his mind. Oh shit, she's right. I've never loved anybody. I'm only 15, so yeah, fuck you. She says, fuck you. No, fuck you. She's like, oh, fuck you. And then they get closer and closer as they keep on, like, you know, fighting a little bit. Fuck you, fuck you. And then they look into each other's eyes and they kiss on accident. Yes, we are going that direction. Think about this for a second. Napoleon and my character kissing. Wow, I hate how this is going. I hate romance plots, but it, you chose this. They just realize, they realize what they're doing. They take a few steps away. They start trying to spit all the saliva that they just exchanged out of their fucking mouths. Shouting at each other, what the fuck did you just do to me? And they're like, oh shit, you didn't want to do that either? Fuck. They're like, so confused right now. And then Shigaraki and Kirigiri appearing out of the portal, of course, spoiling your guys' disgusting fun. Disgusting. Shigaraki and his thing. Apollyon, finish this. He looks like. He looks like he's on his last legs. I think I could breathe on him and he would die. Napoleon. Don't you goddamn lay a finger on him. A finger? Fucking. Finger! Finger on him. You quirked freak. I'll be the one to kill him. Napoleon picks up her sword, kicking out Deku's legs, preparing an execution strike. Deku says. Is this really how you want to live your life? Under the control of these people. I know you. You're smarter than that. Making Napoleon flinch. Shigaraki. Oh, come on. Napoleon. Don't listen to this whiny whelp. He put he strikes his boot onto Deku's face. Activating a little bit of his quirk. Dusting some of Deku's head and his... At, by contrast, his lungs. Napoleon. Enough, Shigaraki. Just let him at least die with honor. Oh, come on. This again? It's always honor this, honor that with you. You know what? Fuck your honor. It has no place in the modern day of villain. Maybe I don't want to be a villain. She top-heavy strikes Tomura, surprising him while creating a huge gash into his left shoulder. Shoulder. Tomura cries, t is taken aback, but then is sh shield bashed by Apollyon, which leads into a tornado of light attacks that Kiyogiri teleports Tomura out of back to home base. But Kiyogiri was now left alone against Apollyon. Apollyon. So, to save your your little friend's life, you gave your own. How ignorant. How would you know, Apollyon? All you know is war and pain. I know because I've done it before. It left me close to death and in a ditch and wanting to kill the guy on the floor even more than usual. Consider this pain a lesson. After all, the elders have to teach the young something somehow. Napoleon grabs him by the chest, letting her claws sink into the crack. And with the dagger that she grabbed from Deku's chest, she uses it as a wedge, cracking open Kigiri's shell. His essence explodes everywhere. Hey, you did it, Napoleon. <laughs> he grabs his stomach, holding it up from the dagger wound. You actually are fighting for the right side. Congratulations. He gets up and pats Apollyon on the back. Alliteration. Now, if I may be so blunt, could you get me to a doctor, please? I'm pretty sure my lungs are internally black. <laughs> Napoleon, embarrassed by having to carry her enemy just two seconds ago, puts
puts him under his shoulder and jumps to the surface. All the heroes had left and all the villains were already defeated and captured. However, there were still some people left over from, that were suspecting a murder plot against the villains. Because some of them were murdered by yours truly. But she, out of the situation, Napoleon recognizes an old lady with some big lips that she had remembered from a magazine that was named... She doesn't even know that. I don't think she does. Wait, does she? I don't think that she remembers that. I think she just knows that she has a healing quirk. This is, of course, the grandma. She lands and gives it, um, just drops him. He tries to leave already, but the old, old woman stands there shocked. Apollyon thought it was the fact that she was asking for help, but the old woman elaborated. He's gonna need something even more than my kisses. He's going to be, he's gonna need help breathing for the rest of his life. This is insane. Why didn't you come to us before? Said, He'll be fine, trust me. I've fought him a lot. Done much worse than that. She starts to walk off as some of the heroes that were left try to stop her, while Deku's body is getting carried off to be healed by the grandma's team at the hospital. But all the heroes were still surrounding her. Napoleon tried to calm herself and not draw her sword, as that would start a conflict. She doesn't think that she can defeat this many and she just simply slices a hole through the side of the USJ, then walks through it as all the heroes stand shocked at the, at the fact that she just cut through titanium that, the titanium that lines the USJ. And only one slice, said one of the heroes. Yeah, that was insane, whispered one of the others. They all realized that if they were to fight her, most of them wouldn't make it out of their lives. She walked through the sh city feeling ashamed. She went the, about her factions. She couldn't even stand back to meet them again after she realizes what she's done. She walks to the hospital, climbing, scaling the building and sitting on the rails outside of the window that Deku was, well, you know, basically a vegetable next to. Hooked up to the machines everywhere. His life seemed to just been flashed away from him, everything taken. She feels so bad, her heart sinks, because it was all her fault. And that'll be it for this time. Um, yeah, that was What If Part 7, Save Her Edition. That was only 13 minutes! It needs to be 20! Oh no. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, if you guys don't know, the algorithm of YouTube. 20 minutes equals a good video, apparently. I don't fucking know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I am very proud of this, and yet it's still only gonna be 13 minutes. It's gonna be 14 minutes instead. Can I just have a, like, six minute outro and you guys are fine with this? To be completely honest, <laughs> that'd be really funny. Just so that more people watch it. Like, I feel immorally bad doing that, but honestly, so that more people get invested in my channel. <laughs> nah, that'd be so wrong. Anyways, bye. Yo guys, it's me from two hours later from that. <sighs> He's such a dope, am I right? Fuck you. Now. So basically. I spammed it in the last of the videos. Did you hear? <laughs> Bet you guys can't even name it. Now, I'm going to be basically for these last four minutes just to 
rock out the time. I have some vaccine stuff. Like, um, all the effects that I used from the last video. I'll just kind of shove into these last four minutes. I think it's six minutes, actually. Anyways, yeah, six minutes. Um, nothing else much to talk about here. I'll maybe put some interesting effects on. I don't fucking. You guys don't have to watch any of this. You can skip it. I don't fucking care. Hope you like the outro.
Mm-hmm. 